hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to show you guys how to create this dope design this dope beautiful stunning splendid and awesome flyer design using just your smartphone the canva app is all that's required with a top of pix art right to achieve the light length effect but you're going to be learning how to create it now so very quickly let's get right into it so the first thing you want to do is to go to your canva um, canva app or your browser right i'm using my browser right now i believe it's the better way to you know design because it's faster and then it allows me to design even when the network is a bit slow right by the app it's um, always loading loading you know and cutting your flow the creative thought all right so let's get right into it so what you don't do is you go to your canva browser and then when you do that you want to go to canva you search for canva.com so after you do that you go to your canva dot um you, um, you log into canva.com you log into your account i believe um if you're watching this you're already a designer using canva or maybe you're starting if you're starting you can go to my um playlist there yeah, are uh, introduction videos here yeah, teaching you how to start from beginning you know how to navigate the standard dashboard how to what graphic design is all of that also build you a solid foundation once you're done with that you're ready to design you can now join us back here so when you're on canva dashboard which is this place you want to go to this icon um, this point right here i select this add icon which i just cycled click on the add icon and then you select the custom size 3000 by 3000 which is the size you're going to be using for this design 3000 by 3000 is the id size for social media designs right click click on create new design and then it's going to take you to another page you wait for it patiently to load and then we are going to get started you understand so for me i'm just going to go back to the design i already created because i want to be getting some resources getting some elements from there to make the work easier to make it faster for all of us right so without further ado let's get right into it so the first thing you want to do is to create your background your background so you can see the background the color of the background here is this is brown that is brown so you can see i will just get the color code which uh, i use in this design right so i already have it here i'll share it with you now right also for the resources right you are going to be making the resources available in the description so make sure you watch the video to the end to get the code if i'm putting a code i'll make, I'll make the code available you know at the end of the video so which reward video to the end so you can get the code access the resources and then also create the stunning design for yourself or your client so the, the color of the background is um i'm going to be selecting here to get it so this is right here a3 h3 e what am i saying 8e3721 8e3721 so that's the color code right there so when you point this color code in the, your color um wheel here or your color is it palette here you're going to get this exact same color that is on my screen right now so that's what you'll be needing the first thing so the second thing now is to create the background right so done the background color there there's a there's a texture effect right a little texture effect that is appearing at the back of the background that you might notice right if you have eyes i believe you have eyes but there's eyes that can see <laughs> just joking so we're going to have to get that so um this is it right there i got this texture effect i downloaded it from pixart so i'm going to just copy this stuff right here and then place it on the design we are going to be creating right and then i'll make it uh a little bit transparent so that it's going to just blend in perfectly with the background so go to my transparency and then i'll reduce it reduce it reduce it reduce it like uh let's say let's say let's give it uh, a three so it's not there but it's there you understand so that's it that's it does giving it a, a kind of texture effect you know rather than just a plain background right so we have achieved that so i've just been using this one here so i've done um waste time so the next thing now is the you see the beautiful lady i'll use as the model and then the text effects right so i want to bring in the model first of all and place her at one side of the design so this is model right here i'm just going to get her like copying right and then i want to paste so for this one now the the um the model has already been edited right it is recommended that any flyer you're creating any design you're doing as far as using the model you want to make sure you edit that model so their color the color of their skin you know can blend together with your background let me show you something very quickly if i go to adjust right here this is what you, the tool you use to blend uh, images you understand so when i go to adjust so doing this like this is going to give you a bluish and um, bluish type style of um bluish texture blue is compassion i mean you understand so the background is not supporting that because the background is brown so taking it to this side is now you know more i think it's in, more in sync you understand so that's what we are going to be going with you understand so i already edited the image i was just going to make it available so we don't waste much time it's more like uh just fix it we're just placing everything where it's supposed to be 
You can see I hated it, added brightness, the contrast, and everything. So I'm just going to make the edited one available for you. We are doing another video later. So if you want that, you can see behind the comment teaching you guys how to edit pictures, you know, in order to blend together with the background that you're using. So um, with placing the model done, and then we are going to now start bringing in the stuff. So you can see here that I do not let her, this part, you can see the edge. Her body is um, inside, you understand? There's no space here. So I'm just going to increase that. And then I'm now going to curve it. Yeah, curve it. Yeah. And then I place it here. All right. So then increase it a little bit. So that's how it's done. That's how it's done. Okay. So uh, after that, the next thing is um, K. So we want to bring in our text, our text, our text. So K gram space is the next thing I'm going to write. So bring in your test, click on the test icon. You see, add the text box, which is very obvious here. You're going to select that, and then we are going to bring in your text. So the, the, the font we are going to be using for that case gram space um, is called um, Recto. <clears throat> bright retro let me just, it's just i think it's just case and then the glam space is with pretty cool large vertex now you have to understand that the font that you use for any design is what actually makes the design very crucial your the font can make or break the design so you have to be very selective with the font that you use for your designs so this is the font right here case is um bright retro it's a free font available on canva also you're seeking to get canva pro because we are going to be using some of the canva pro elements in this design you want to go to one of my videos i already made it available there how to get canva pro and also how to recover your designs because the canva pro i'll be showing you how to get is the canva pro for teams you understand so canva pro for teams you are going to be joining new teams you know how to get canva pro so the one you joined before you might lose the design but i'm going to show you how you can also get that design you understand the video already we made available so you want to make sure you watch them right but any current problems you have you can just leave it to me in the comments and i will uh, get back to you so we've done that now um after that we are going to be writing uh, the color is uh is not totally white as you see it here so we are going to get the color and then we are going to proceed so this is the call um, to get the color same thing i did before to get the background i'm just going to go there so select it you know this is the color code eb no, not let me just circle this out. E B C six B C E B C six B C. So that's the color code you want to be using. So I already have it. Um, it's gonna be on my own color suggestion, so I will not need to copy the color code, right? So I'll just think this is here. So that's not it. E B C this one. So case and i'm thinking of you know the spacing with the spacing a little bit all right minus 50 it's cool all right so uh now case glam space so the glam space now is going to be a different font we're going to be using um bricolage grotex this is here bricolage grotex also a free font available on canva you understand canva or form so I'll just um, write that there. Glam space. Yes, please. Yes. All right. So I'm just going to reduce it. Change the color to white. And uh, I did um go for that to reduce the size. So you know, case is the most obvious method, and then the glam space is just. You know, this is just like a style rather than writing all of them um you know in the same size which is going to disrupt the whole design you're just putting it like this so that to give you some sort of creativity you understand and um orderliness also so i'm just going to use my notch icon to complete that adjustment so we have that so now the next thing now is going to be uh our services our services so what's our services I want to bring in my elements, you know, go to your elements, then you bring in a shape, a square, preferably, right? Square is what we're going to be using. So it came at the, um, with the red I want to be using, right? But I'm still going to share with you the color code in case yours did not automatically come with that red color. So F, this is total red, F O O O O O, right? I think a uh, guy explained how what the color code means. I don't have time to explain that how what the exact number in the color code means right now but then this is the color code for this red f o o o o o this is like the real red okay i just accidentally off 
my when we post to record it all right so don't, don't waste much time let's let's get to it so we use it adjust it and then place it here remember i now i'm using these lines these lines are the alignments you understand so your your design should be within these lines to avoid disorderliness so as long i cannot place it here it has to be within this place you understand it's a form of alignment on canva that's why i prefer using canva you know to other apps pixel lab right <laughs> pixel lab is good we are going to be using it for some um you know effects but then this this is just because of these lines it gives you that easy makes alignment easy for you you understand so uh services services because what no, alignment stuff and bottom so this glam face here is what we're going to use it <clears throat> and then we're going to write services what are the services that we provide at case glam space so let's let you know right here so this is it uh -huh. so um <laughs> Service is going to be bold because that's the main thing there, and then the other stuff is going to be not bold, it's just going to be normal. No, because service is our main message there. This is what we do at Case Glam Space. So I'm just going to adjust it on the center line. You see that line showing that it's right in the center. So this one I'm going to move it also to get. Uh huh. So what next? What next? What next? Um, so we are going to get all this stuff so now i'm not going to really have to start copy i'm just going to copy previously right i'm going to copy previously so you you have to you have to do this thing. Okay. so i'm just going to copy wig making wig making and the rest so you can see that so is an icon they use to you know bullet the point rather than just using a circle they have to use i have to use something to make it um look more you know beauty related so that stuff i use is available on canva so i'm just going to get it here so i'll go to my layers i'll go to my layers over here and then i'm going to select the icon get the name and we are going to search for it together on canva here uh so you will know how so you know the name and also apply it in your design so this is right here so what is the name what is the name so you scroll you scroll up go to information info right white arrow right elements right arrow right elements that's that's a weird name but then that's that's what it says so in case you didn't see this is where we went to info right it says white arrow <coughs> right element okay okay that's the name so let's let's search for it on um a search for it on element right white arrow <laughs> white arrow that that's that's not even that doesn't even make sense white arrow white element okay that's it all right i think there's plenty of stuff so we can go to search until we see the one that we want because this i didn't like the circle i think the one i used just resonated with the um beauty message so there are lots of hours here i do not want to waste much time okay so we don't know waste time it's, it's supposed to be here i also had to search for it the first time i created this design but no worries i can just get this one right here and make use of it so i'm going to make it make it um available in, at, for you in the description of the video at resources so make sure you watch it and to get the whole to get the um key to unlocking the um resources so I'm just going to select, 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 scroll down and just get it. My. So I'm just going to copy. And then. Yeah. Paste. So. So um you can see wig making. You can also bring this glam space here. Wig making. So I'm gonna make it aligned. So let me select multiple.
okay so all i have to do now is just duplicate this stuff bring it down so after we make it, the next thing on our list we have hair styling just gonna copy hair styling make making hair styling So after that, I'll duplicate again, bring it down. So that's 79, 79 shows that the spacing between the first and the second is the same. So you see, that's also giving an us form of alignment. So we we revamping, you know, just copy, copy, write all the details. I mean, writing the details in design is usually the best, you know, so fun part of the design. It's kind of boring to some extent. But then, that's the major thing goal of the design is to communicate a message right so um so those duplicate again bring it down to seven right you must make sure the spacing are even uh -huh, 29 and then the next thing is um hair extension Then there's also the alignment. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing that I have a lot of space in between mine. So it's still okay. The kids bring it down to nine. So our acrylic nails, copy, then paste it here, and then paste. So I think I'll write it, I'll duplicate it too much. So, yeah. So zoom in, copy again, and then like that. What's wrong? Press on nails. So all of them are aligned. And then next thing again. Okay, it's facial copy copy. Alignment. Next thing. You can see the number showing so so that it's perfectly. Ah, oh, what's wrong with copy? Okay. Special pedicure, just two more. Nash extension. Mm. 
then one more So that is going to be made up. So zoom out. So we have it all aligned, all listed. Right. So now we can see that uh, next thing now is um. So this one is more like I didn't make the spacing much as I did in this one. I'm creating numbers is still okay. So um, the next thing is we bring in that image there. You know? So this image are just enforcing. They call them the halo effects on design. They are just enforcing that we are not just talking about um, a beauty um, salon. We are also showing you how it looks like. You understand? So it's makes people to have a clearer picture of the uh, message you're trying to communicate so you want to make sure you add that in your designs so uh, how that was done is you're going to search for um paper paper frame yeah you're going to search for paper frame now so you see plenty so you're going to create something like this this one here that has um that out so so yeah and then i'm just going to rotate this is the size this one here right and so the how it was done there's one two three four so um so this big one is going to be at somewhere in the middle and then I'm just gonna send it backward so it goes to the back of the beautiful lady. And then I'm gonna adjust her a bit. Her hair is covering up space, so we have to move it backward like that. Uh -huh. So this, and then I'm just gonna just. So I'm bringing it down. So that's a bit too. That has to be space for two. So this one's gonna be down here. Duplicate. And there's have to be another one here. Okay. So yeah, it's gonna have to be very, very small. Like I'm then now this is the first one. Then the second one is going to be let's see all of them. Equals to recording. Okay. And so three minutes already gone. You know, Jesus, I want, I'm thinking of doing a different style. So there are plenty. You you can decide not to go with the exact one you're using, and then go to some, go with something different. That's also okay. So I'll use this guy here. And then this one here. No, like that. Duplicate this guy. Duplicate him. This one. Place him here. So I'm gonna send him behind the case. Right. To address. Bring them downward a bit. What? And I'm going to look for one more. Right? 
so now we have that so the next thing you're going to do is to fill up that space you see you just search for um the stuff you want to see there so you're going to search for beauty salon Beauty salon, and then you're gonna go to photos, yeah. So, the ones that best goes with the one we are not going to be using the exact same thing, understand? So, which one stands? So, this is beautiful, beauty salons here. Yeah? So, the one that you know seems clicks with you, or this resonates with you, you're just gonna go with that one. Um, I'm waiting for, I don't know wait for what time, so I'm just gonna go with the one. So you're gonna remove and then you're just gonna bring it, you're gonna directly adjust it, you're gonna adjust it to the scope. So we let the lady take the scope properly. That's one. So another one again. So we're gonna use the one at the point where this one. Okay, well, let me check. Let me look at the other one very quick. So, I know I saw I, I used this one too. So, this lady here, yeah. so I'm just gonna rotate her. Bring her down. So, I'm gonna tap on it, right? So, you, you guys wanna rotate like this way. So, I do that, right? This, this is rotating stuff right here. That's what you are going to be using. This one here, right? So, uh, we do the reason we do the size. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Um, okay. So, and then I'm just going to use a picture of um, a beautiful salon on this one. So, go. Same thing here, I'm going to have to rotate it. Done. So these ones, I'm not going to be making them available, right? Because they are even different from the one we used before. So you are going to have to select the ones that you want to go with. You want to use. And then the one that um, you know, goes well, you are going to have to apply them. So moving on, book us now. Now, um, we are going to get this. Um, rectangle that we got from before and then we are going to select color so there's a color on top of that um, it's transparent this one here nothing is showing there so it's transparent so um go to select that color and then we're going to leave it go to style we are going to increase the border width then stand they are going to change the border width to the color that we used for the clamp space which is white right okay we're gonna increase it. So it's just it. <coughs> uh, with that alignment up. So uh yeah, look now. So I'm just gonna you see there's a curve, so you have to go to make it have that curve. So go to style, corner rounding, now you increase the corner rounding, but that way you increase it a little bit. So increase the corner rounding to have that. Okay. So these guys, I'm just gonna bring them down a little bit. So there, you see, there's like a congestion here between the case lamp space and them. So we give it some um white space, some empty space. So this they can put like this and put. Alright. So uh, that done, we can now duplicate this guy. Book us now. So book us now. The fonts we use there is um since they since they're very beautiful fonts on Canva or you know occasions like this so this is since they're decorative right so I'm just I, I selected that you go to format and then you are making it bold so I will just need to increase it because
because now <laughs> all right so this color is not totally white let me select this one i think that's better no not this one so there's another color code that is not white totally but it's similar to white here this is here so i'm going to share with you to f f e a e one f f e a e one so that's what you're going to be using for the rectangle and for the color of the sensor you understand so um, um i'm just going to change this to that screen color too so the book and now are there but then the us i just did something you know out of the usual book now to examination mark so you're going to select multiple reduce their size a little bit so um for the us duplicate is here i'm just going to reduce this book over to the back so it's aligned then bring this guy here and just get the whole concept properly book us now what so this is the space between the book and we are gonna write yeah so the font we are going to be using is the normal um pre colored font just write us and move it just gonna have to adjust this a little bit so it is more visible to the woman eyes yeah all right okay so the red is gonna make it noticeable right so the red is um if you know the type of colors there is a warm color so it's gonna make it very noticeable so um now we are going to duplicate this guy we are going to um re put give it a color back the same color we used so this time we do have this color and we are going to remove the border and all of that all right and so, so we are going to change the shape to be like this this guy here where one side is curved you understand so that's what we are going to do and then I'm going to now adjust it, use it, bring him here, and adjust. Okay, that's enough. Um, this side is too cold. Eh? the numbers so make you know this is two here and then this color yeah I'll leave it there I'll leave it at that color so let me get the numbers get the numbers copy text <coughs> oof for oh, some reason Carter is not a good thing copy So we are going to be using this. So the, the color we are going to be using is the brown that we use for the background. Same color we use for the background. That is what you're going to be using. So 
to reduce the size reduce the size um, not too much but then this is okay copy the second number going to now adjust it <sighs> so we have that now the thickness I think is too much I think it's okay you know the other one I made it long but this one I feel it's, it's okay the alignment is what matters so if you got the alignment yeah you can do it and so page lamp space we are going to write that too just the instagram handle you see now that one now we now divide those we just placed it we didn't align the necessarily so we are just going to do that too this one has a little bit of freedom I'm going to bring it down a little bit so now i'm just going to select um search for instagram logo instagram logo instagram logo so you're going to select the one with outline now it's very important to know this the one that has outline like these thin lines here you don't want to go without those ones why because when you reduce the size it's going to like disappear it's not going to be very bold but the one that has this thickness like this here yeah, that's the one you want to be going with please understand so i'm just going to change this place as blue to white yeah and then this other side this the other one that's white i'm going to down change it to the brown yeah so you have that choose the size this is here Mm -hmm. so we have that so we are almost done there's just something you notice something at the top left right and all of that so first things first this one the circle here let's go to change the shape i think it's a circle bring it here all right let's do this just, this is also just to make the design have some effect to make it stand out right rather than leaving it just plain you understand and then there's a ribbon effect so that ribbon i make available for you guys just copy this guy here and then send the places place him here uh, okay right i'm just adjusting it bring it down adjust it here right yeah just that and then there's something else at the top and at the bottom so at the bottom <coughs> cannot get the circle duplicated change the shape of the circle to rectangle such as this and then i'm going to increase the size and then rotate it rotate it rotate it just to give it a subtle touch of multiple colors yeah then i'm bringing it down here yeah and start get what i'm saying <laughs> all right so that 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 gives it a touch rather than leaving it just plain and then the stuff at the top so the stuff at the top is uh a curved circle so um i want to search for semicircle if i cannot get what the semicircle i need then we are going to have to use the pen to semicircle This one, let's go with this guy.
No. Is this is okay. So I'm going to change the color to this um, oh, um kind of why we have right. So I uh, really share with you the color code F E A E one, right? So I mean, the first time I did it, I had to use my brush tool to do it, but then I just realized using this um semicircle is actually much more faster and easier. Yeah. So we have that, and then and then and then the final thing, there's a light, a light, a light we're gonna be adding to make it shine, natural light to shine before me. It's done. So paste. Okay, this is I'm just making the light available for you guys. So just to give it uh that touch so we are almost done if you are not already done and then as that as that for the design we have been able to achieve it so um one final thing the final part is actually using pix ads right just to give it this color you see that glow we had at the bottom of the design um it's we already spent almost 40 minutes already so i believe it was worth the wait i believe you have enjoyed the tutorials and um you learned something awesome right so want to make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow for more YouTube videos like this i'll be giving them hot spots bringing them your way so to download i'm just going to click on this icon at the top of the page i believe you'll be familiar with download if you're not here's it so we click on that and let's download the first option so i since i have various stuff here i'm just going to select the one i want to download but you you just have one so you can just download that one you have so i'm just going to download it and so after it's done downloading we are going to quickly go to pix ads and then i'm going to show you how to add that glow and then we'll be done with the design all right guys so we have a design downloaded to our phone here is it so very quickly we are going to finish it up using pix ads so if you don't have pix ads you can actually just get pix ad from um your google play store or your you know apple store by right, just search for pix ads you're going to see it and then you are just going to add that effect so uh, when you come to pix ads you are going to be greeted with the dashboard something like this let me go back so this is how it's going to appear so you want to click on this add icon at the bottom too same same format with canva click on that then click on it so design you're going to see your design show in your downloads so you are going to select that so very um all you need to do here is just add that glow effect so what we do we just scroll scroll we come to this place where there's marks right the bottom of the you know at the bottom of the dashboard at the bottom of the page so we are going to see plenty there is the food there is the dust shadow and all of that so we are going to go to the lights so the light has various she has this she has this so this is the one we are going to be using and we are just going to select it and then click on this dot dot on it and then we use it to use transparency to about 25 so that just give it that glow so click on the good at the top of the page and then we download so that's how to create this stunning design using your smartphone it is um using canva and a pinch of pix ads so that's it thank you so much for watching like i said i'll make the resources available to you guys in the description also very quickly before you go can you guess how this was created if you want me to do an a ritual there's a, a a style a format here can you guess how this was created and if you can kindly after you're done doing the design you want to come back to canva and create it so i'm not going to explain it i'm just going to, all you have to do is very simple you carry the design you re increase the size you curve it to place it at the back you do the same thing here and then make a bigger one here and then bring the design at the middle and add a border outline so i believe you'll be able to do it right try it out and you know if you can there's a way to send it to me if you can just try it out and see for yourself so you can just expand your knowledge of design so thank you so much for watching make sure you like subscribe for more um, beautiful videos like this see you guys in the next one have a good one